Good morning. Jesus said in the Lord's Prayer in Luke chapter 11, and lead us not into temptation. <clears throat> he taught us to pray every day that we will be led by God, but led away from temptation. Lead me, Lord, but lead me away from temptation. You know, it's impossible to follow Jesus and not be tempted sometimes, not to be tempted by our flesh or by the world or by Satan. It's impossible for us to live a godly life and not suffer temptation, but it is possible to avoid a lot of it. Through daily prayer, firstly, Jesus said, he taught us to pray every day and lead us not into temptation. That should be something that's on all of our lips. How else can we overcome temptation and avoid it? Well, firstly, be radical. Stay away from the edge. You know, there's a story, an old story about a lady who used to live in, down in Cornwall. In the old days, a lot of Cornwall was cut off from the mainland and they, they had some roads that were very close to the cliff edges. She was a wealthy woman who lived in a big house and she was looking for someone to be a coach driver this was in the days of horses and coaches. And she was interviewing different people for the job. She said to what, uh, some of the guys who were there for the interview, how close could you get to the edge of the cliff and still be in control of the horses and the carriage? And one guy, obviously trying to get the job boasting, said I could get within six feet of the edge of the cliff and still be in control of the horses. Okay, and then she interviewed the next guy. She said, you know, how close could you get to the edge of the cliff? And he said, I wouldn't be anywhere near the edge of the cliff. I'd be as far away as possible. He got the job. The person who gets the job is the person who stays away from temptation. As far as possible, they stay away. They make choices that keep them away from the edge. If we know we have a particular weakness, a particular sin that always dogs us, then we need to be very radical, honest, brave, and stay away from every opportunity where we might be tempted. It's no good blaming God or blaming the devil if we ourselves put ourselves in situations where we know we're going to be tempted. The other way you can overcome temptation is this. When you are tempted, take the first exit. It says in the scriptures that no temptation has overcome you that is not common to man. But with the temptation, God will also provide the way of escape. <clears throat> in every temptation that the world or the devil brings to us, God always provides a way of escape in the temptation. It's up to us to recognize it and take it. Take the first exit. If you're going on the wrong road, the last thing you want to do is keep going. It's a terrible feeling, especially in the days before sat-navs, when we used to be driving out of certain cities, ministering in different places. If we realised we were on the wrong road, the first thing you did was look for the exit. You took the first exit that you possibly could to get heading back in the right direction. And we need to do the same. Don't pass the exit and think, oh, I'll just keep playing around with this. There'll be another opportunity to escape later on. There might not be. God has promised an exit. So when it comes, take it. God will give you a way of escape and help you in your temptation so you can overcome it. And lastly, when you do fall, get up quickly. You know, the devil loves to condemn us. And when we've fallen, the worst thing we can do is stay down. The best thing to do is get up, rub the dust off your knees, ask God for forgiveness and keep following Jesus as quick as you can. When we, we used to have little children and if they used to fall over, sometimes they used to lie there and cry. They were so sad that they'd fallen over. But when they're lying there, they're getting wetter, they're getting dirtier. That's not helping the situation at all. The first thing you want to do is get up quickly and keep going and Lord will be with you. 
Maybe you're suffering temptation today. Maybe you're going through a long period of temptation. It can happen to us all. But here's some good news for you. It says that Jesus is a faithful and merciful high priest. And because he suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Let's take practical steps and let's ask Jesus for his help. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you were a real man and you suffered on this earth temptations in every way but were without sin. We thank you that because you suffered, you're able to help those who are being tempted. And Lord, we thank you for that help and we ask you for it today. We ask you that when we see an exit, we would take it. We ask you to give us the wisdom and courage to stay away from the edge of things that cause us to fall and lead us downhill. We thank you for your amazing grace today, Jesus. We thank you that there's no condemnation in you, that when we fall, you lift us up, you wash us clean, you put a flower in our buttonhole and send us off with a smile on our face. Thank you for your amazing grace, Jesus. Let us experience it today. Your mercy, your love, the help that we need is in you. Thank you, Saviour. Amen.